and then that's the whole secret, right? Because that's what you want in life. You need to be able to withstand tragedy, and you need to be able to withstand malevolence, because those are the forces that are always working against you. And so it's a, this is associated with the Jungian idea of incorporation of the shadow, right? You have to be. We know this, God. We know how predators work with regards to children, even. If you're a pedophilic predator, and you're looking at a landscape of children, the child that you're going to go after is the one that's timid and won't fight back. You pick your victim. And predatory people in general are exactly like that, man. They're, because they're predators, they're not going to attack someone who's, who's going to fight back. In fact, the issue is likely not to even come up. They're going to be looking for someone, one way or another, that cannot conceptualize what they are. And then, perfect. It's, a, it's an open season, man. It's open season. And so if you're treating someone with post-traumatic stress disorder, first, they need an introduction to the philosophy of malevolence, and second, they have to learn to become dangerous. Because that's the only way out. What's the alternative? They get these recurrent thoughts about their vulnerability in the face of malevolence, and their own naivety, because by definition, if someone psychopathic has exploited you, you're too naive. It's, it's a definitional issue. You can say, well, that's no fault of mine. How the hell could I be prepared? Fair enough, man. A perfectly reasonable objection doesn't solve your problem. Because it's an, it's an eternal problem, right? The internal problem is, how do you deal with tragedy and malevolence? And you can say, well, I'm not prepared. It's like, yeah, fair enough. Unsurprising, especially if you were overprotected as a child. It's not a good idea to overprotect your kids, because the snakes are going to come into the garden no matter what you do. And so then you, instead of trying to keep the damn snakes away, what you do is you arm your child with something that can help them chop them into pieces and make the world out of them. So that the, the trick for human thriving in the face of suffering and malevolence is strength, not protection.